as if you are a minister in office defending a position. You are a nominee minister. The question is being put to you is for you to tell this committee whether what they are asking you, the vetting members, whether what they are asking you is okay with you or you will institute changes and in your view what you will do if you become the minister. Because you are now talking as if you are defending a position you already hold, which is not the case. Thank you. Thank you for that guidance. My personal position is the decision to have the junior school domiciled in the primary school is the correct one. And it is a position that uh, if you found it fit for me to become minister, I would enforce. And how would I do that? An audit has been done to determine that there are 16,000 classrooms that are required. So far, 3,500 are under construction and they're likely to be ready in the next two or three months. The other 7,500, I um, understand, are supposed to start in October and they'll take three months. The shortage that will be there then comes to 5,000. This 5,000 then we have to do a systematic check to find out whether the adjacent schools where there will be no form ones, the children can go and study in those uh, particular classrooms. So, order, so, so yes. yeah. majority leader. Chair, uh, I had skipped asking a question because I had wanted to hear the nominee. And now that I've had him, and you have put the question very well to him, the paraphrased what the Honorable Dawood was asking. And he's telling us that he is confident JSS grade 9 would sit well in primary schools, whereas many of us in this room, because we are dealing with these issues on a day-to-day -day basis, there are members in Parliament who will tell you there are schools that are 20, 15 kilometers apart. So if you tell us that you will have some kids taken to a school neighboring where they'll be hosted, then I can tell you it's going to be very impractical. And I think the direct question we wanted to hear from you, um, uh, Mr. Migosi, was uh, maybe just let me start from where Kenyans are asking, because uh, they were asking, you are the running mate of the former cabinet secretary, uh, Ezekiel Machogu. Kenyans have been asking, is this the right person for the job, or he, is he going to just be an appendage of the person who was running as deputy governor for. You are now telling us that you are confident what had been started before you even get to the ministry would work. And uh, we have eight classrooms, for instance, in a primary school. Secondary schools have at least four classrooms in a single stream school. If you take grade nine to the primary school, you need to construct a classroom and leave a classroom empty in the secondary school. You will have no laboratories in the secondary schools, in the primary schools, while as you have them in the secondary schools. You are telling us you need 16,000 classrooms. You said here that one of the challenges, or, or rather any problem that you have identified in the ministry from the briefing probably you have gotten from the PSS and other ministry officials, relates to funding. So if you have 16,000 classrooms shortage, on average a classroom will take 800,000 to a million shillings if done by CDF. If done by the ministry, on average it takes about 2 million shillings. So are you telling us you will, within the next five, six months before January, to be able to accommodate grade nine in primary schools, be in a position to raise, is that 30, almost 32 billion shillings for building of classrooms? And my direct question is, do you have the courage to change that which is not working in the Ministry of Education? Thank, thank you, Honorable Chunga, for that. What I'm saying... I said what I told you less politely. Yes. Now, go <laughs> What, what I'm saying, uh, 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 Mr. Speaker, is if 
we have a problem. We got to get a, a solution for it. Right. There is no question that year nines will not be in class in January. The one, question is, one way or which that, class? In one, primary section or in secondary section? Yes. So, so, so my position, yes. my position was a philosophical position that domiciling it in primary school made sense. But if we find... Now move from philosophical yes, to, practical. to practical. Now, if we find... <laughs> yes, if yes. we find that that philosophical position is not practical while you are in position with the facts and factors that will be provided at that point, then we got to make a decision because the children must learn. So I, what I can say here... Yes. What I can... Yes, thank you. Yeah. What I can say here is that I'm ready to take the decision that is in the best interest of the, the children. The children of Kenya. Yes. And you have the courage to do so. And I have the courage to do so. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mr. Speaker. You, Ferdinand. And you can only. Yes. Speaker. Okay, we'll go to the next. Let me come in. Yes. You can only give that decision if he becomes now. the minister. I say. Yes. yes. Let yeah. me come in now. Um, <laughs> Appointee. Switch off your 